Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate anyone who listens to my podcast, leaves comments and um, DMs me on Instagram. I do reply to everyone that I can, provided that it is uh, logical. And as you know, I don't sit on the emails, so I don't even see them. I have someone else screening them before I'd even read them. And I need to set up those boundaries for myself because um, I am an empath and I have to have a level of boundary set up around me, particularly pertaining to these days where social media um, can really affect people in terrible ways. So today's topic uh, that I wanted to share is a quick one. Um, like all of you, we're all watching what is now unfolding in the Middle East. Uh, we're watching what's happening with Gaza. We're watching, what, we're watching what's happening with um, Palestinians, with the Palestinians. And yes, um, it's just absolutely devastating. And it leads me to something that I always often think about. One of my most favorite films of all time, and it's really up there for a lot of other people, is um, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. If you know that film, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Edward Furlong, and of course, um, Linda Hamilton as Sarah Connor. That film was just such a breakout film. I think it was done back in 91 or 92 or thereabouts. And the T-1000 and, you know, it's really, really good. But there's a scene in, or there's multiple scenes in that, in that um, movie in particular that have always really kind of stayed with me throughout my life. And one of them being humans not being able to coexist together and the cycle of violence and there is a scene in that film where uh, they've pulled up they're on the road they've pulled up and they've gone to go get some fuel and some food at a gas station somewhere out in the desert and John sees two young boys playing with toy guns and bang, bang, I got you. No, I got you first. No, bang, bang, I got you. And it was kind of like a perfect um, depiction of looking at human behavior from a bird's eye view. And then John looking at this and then questioning it and talking to Arnold Schwarzenegger's character, the Terminator, who was also a, you know, an android or a robot that was made to also destroy life as well, Skynet. And John asks and questions, why, why do, why do they do, why do people do this? Why do humans do this to each other? And coming from a robot or from a Terminator, his response was, because it's in your nature. And that has always profoundly stayed with me. Why do we do what we do to each other? Because it's in our nature to destroy each other, to destroy ourselves, to destroy the environment to one up each other. And the only way to end the cycle of violence is through love and forgiveness. And taking each other as a part of ourselves is that I'm a fragment of you and you're a fragment of me. Although we hold different beliefs, can we, can we coexist together in a place of harmony? And this is so complex because there's just so many moving parts to it. 
And the cycle of hate is taught. The cycle of prejudice is a learnt behaviour. The cycle of racism, systemic racism, is a learnt thing. And in the end, we know that it benefits no one. There was a very famous play that was done way, way, way back in the Roman days. And it was done under, a, I think I'm going to butcher this, but I think it's a prestidium arch. I think that's what it was called. I remember studying this at school where people would come into like a town square and they would watch a play and the play uh, was about retribution and how a massive part of the history of humans is the cycle of retribution one village gets destroyed by another village and then that village has to seek retribution against the people that did that to their village so they go um they have resentment, the resentment builds, the tension builds, and then finally there's another attack. And then those children grow up because they had their town destroyed, their family, their loved members were killed, raped, pillaged, burned alive. Um, their home was rubble. So then they seek retribution for their family against what the others that others did to their family and so on and so forth. And that is a huge part of human history. And it's events like this, which shape and set in motion chain reactions in the collective, in the world. And it's very scary. It's very dangerous, but it is in, in our nature. The cycle of violence spins around and a new crop of children grow up seeking that. And then we have countries and companies that benefit from it. If you don't know war or any type of, um, any type of conflict, benefits others out of it from supplying them with the funds to make the weapons to be used against other people, etc., etc. And so, I mean, just looking at what's been happening, I'm going to say, first of all, if you're watching the mainstream news, stop it. Because we know that it's being shown to you from an angle that benefits someone else, okay? And it's so hard these days because we just don't know what is real and what is really, really happening because everything's so sensationalized and so edited that sometimes something that we think we're watching is real, but it's been edited and spun and twisted into a narrative that is deliberately getting you to see it from a perspective that benefits someone else. We saw that a lot during the pandemic. Um, so at this time, it's just a time of incredible mourning and sadness and perspective and also perspective of what is to come as well. Uh, so I'm going to be sharing some videos coming up in the next few weeks. They're going to be a lot shorter and straight to the point. Um, but yes, we are here. We are here. If you're listening to this podcast, um, we are here for the final epoch of the human consciousness. We are here for this. Okay. It is not sustainable. And if you're in some kind of fluffy bubble, the more indoctrinated you are into thinking that everything's going to continue the way that it is, you are fooling yourself. 
because, and, and hey, 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 I understand. For a long time, I thought that way too. But we are here for basically an extinction event. And I'm going to be sharing some of that. But yes, there is a very significant thing that is going to be coming up in 2026. So 2026 is the big year. And it's going to be connected to a lot of different things that are all starting to build and take place now. So if you're out there and you're listening and you're already aware of this, if you have a lick of common sense, you would already see that. You would already feel that. You would already know that. And I'm not being an alarmist because the other day I was thinking about just deleting my Instagram, deleting this YouTube channel and um, really getting back to trying to find my joy, trying to find things and people that bring me joy and trying to find my peace so that I can enjoy the next couple of years that I have left, that we all have left, okay? Before it all begins to unravel and it is already starting to unravel so I'm going to leave it here for today why do humans do what we do because humans are flawed and we've never been more fragmented than we are now everyone feels slightly under attack everyone feels slightly unsafe everyone feels confused we're starting to see the corrosion of natural law completely breaking down, particularly in the US. We're starting to see kind of just no consensus on reality anymore. This is all happening for a very, very specific reason. And the narratives and the forces that are at play that are driving those narratives are wanting the atrophication and the rot of the human mind to separate us and break us down for what is to come. So if you're out there and you're listening, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for listening to me. It really means a lot to me. I know that in the end, this won't really mean anything, but when I get to the other side, I wanna know that I did everything that I could and I lived a life of integrity and truth um, that I at least made videos like this or podcasts like this where people could listen and I tried. And that's all I can do at the end of the day. And that's all anyone can do. So I'm going to leave it here. Lots of love to you. And I'm sending lots of love to Israel. I'm sending lots of love to Palestine. I'm not taking a side. Humans are what they are. They do what they do. And ultimately, this is the direction that it's going, whether we want to become a god in making AI and making consciousness in the image of ourselves or whether it just goes on and on and on. But everything is on a circle, on a loop, and it spins around and around and around, and it has for since the beginning of humans. Um, there is also a war at play between the spiritual warfare that's happening behind this as well. So there's a lot of moving parts, but I will do videos talking about that in the future. So I'm just sending love and light and peace out there. And I know it's like a piss in the ocean, but at least I'm making these videos. So I hope that you're okay today, wherever you are. And just spare a thought for the people that are uh, displaced, missing, raped, tortured, captured, and get some fucking perspective. Also, I would say when you're listening or watching something, whether it's on your phone or on the news, on your TV or whatever, on your desktop, whatever, if it doesn't feel right, 
listen to that because it probably isn't right. All right? Lots of love. I'm signing off now. Peace. Bye. Bye.